all my little sugar boogers, welcome back to the channel for an updated current household. Alrighty guys, so here we are in my current familia. We are actually playing this young man here, Sebastian Abraham. Now originally, Mr. Sebastian was actually a teacher in Willow Creek living the dream. He was a literature teacher and he has decided to go off and do his own thing. He recently moved to San Maishuno and he decided to pick up a job in the writer career or writer track, I believe it is. He is, as of right now, a writer's assistant but can totally imagine working his way up now the difference with this current household and the ones I have done in the past is that usually with a current household I've already had some sort of gameplay established um, I've already like worked on it and there's some sort of you know story and juicy drama happening but I really wanted you guys to have an opportunity to follow this family pretty closely um, not that it's going to be a series or anything quite like that but I just really want you guys to get the full effect of start to finish of how this family unfolds. So what we're doing is we are just kind of starting from the beginning. It's exactly that. So there's not going to be a whole bunch of content in this current household update, but at least you guys can, you know, <laughs> start from the beginning with me. Um, so here we are in my apartment, which is the one that requires TLC. This is actually Cora's apartment in City Living. Now, Mr. Sebastian doesn't have a lot of money. It took everything he had, every little freaking penny to move here into this apartment. I know what you're thinking. He wasn't rich. He wasn't established and he sure as hell was not wealthy, but you know, <laughs> he started from the bottom and he's here. Um, and this is what his little bathroom looks like. I did actually go ahead and furnish it myself. Um, so it's not how it normally is stock. Uh, so this is what it looks like. I put in some hardwood floors, or he did, I suppose. And we have some black, uh, I wouldn't call these appliances, but, you know, amenities. And then over here is just like a spare bedroom. I have no idea what I'm going to turn this into when we have the funds. Maybe some sort of like office or something like that um, to, you know, hold his literature and then over here we have his um what is this mousetrap mouse hole uh we have his living room and yes this is a flat screen tv we know where all of his money went uh kind of just sitting on the floor this is such a typical bachelor pad it's kind of ridiculous but he is trying to make this place look a little more upscale a little more fancy so we are using quality uh quality furniture items here um there is no slacking around the corners and i love his kitchen uh, it's a little, it's a little edgy. It's a little dark, but I love it. I think it's really awesome. And he is not a cook at all whatsoever. And then last, but certainly not least, we have his bathroom or bedroom. Actually, it kind of looks like it, he shopped at Ikea. I really do like it. It's just, it's so masculine and it just definitely reflects Sebastian. Um, and he has like this little diamond poster and then this is his terrace. Uh, I don't know what we're going to put on here, but you know, at some point I'd like to maybe put a barbecue or have have, um, you know, some chairs just so he can enjoy the... <laughs> scenic view of his neighbor's window. Anyway, the blonde that you saw in the beginning, that is Asher Dolan. She is so flippin' cute, and he totally has a hot neighbor. Like, I'm not gonna even lie. She is so damn adorable. Um, He's lived here for a few days now. I don't even know where she went. I think she went off. What the hell is this guy doing? Um, I thought that I thought the freaks only come out at night, but low-key, this dude, this is my mood. Like, I'm not gonna even lie. Like, this is, I am so jealous. This guy's my spirit animal. Like, seriously, look at, look at, <laughs> look at these tights though, yo, Sebastian. Oh my gosh, you came into the right place where the freaks come out at night. I don't even know, but, um. Anyway, what else was I saying? So yeah, she's totally like a, she's, she's a little, she's a little hotty toddy. Um, and he saw her the other day when he was actually, you know, taking out the trash and she just kind of like caught his eye. Um, super captivating, but she's really, really, really young. Sebastian's probably 28 or so. And I think Asher is about 23. By the way, both of these Sims are available on the gallery at Gen 2606. Just make sure you have the advanced tab enabled and you'll be able to get your hands on these guys. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much what is happening. I don't know if there's a, oh, there she is. There she, oh, is she coming to my door though? <laughs> oh, she's knocking with those knockers. Hey neighbor, I'm bored. Ooh, play with me. I'm bored. 
<laughs> we can uh, socialize or do whatever you have. To. Are you soliciting? Because I don't want it. Unless it's unless it's Girl Scout cookies and <laughs> girl, let me get my leche. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely agree to hang out with her. And by the way, current households are not gameplays typically. Um, sometimes I do like a day in the life, but right now we're just kind of chatting and playing all at the same time. And my husband is trying to video chat me right now, which is so freaking perfect timing, boo, perfect timing. But um, I really I really do like her. I don't know much about her. Um, let me go and see actually if we do know anything. And by the way, we hate our other neighbor, Greta, Geta or Greta. I have no freaking idea, but this little hoochie mama cannot keep it down. Like she is so freaking loud playing her goddamn ukulele music all night long, just going at it. Like she has no respect whatsoever. Like if I could like punch her in the Adam's apple, I would, <laughs> but I'm not violent. I promise. Okay. It's that wasn't, that was, that was, that was a joke. Like a bad one, but it was a joke. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we know nothing about her, not even her job, none of her, like her um, traits or anything like that, but we are going to get to know her a little bit, and we're going to go and tell her a funny story. A way to a woman's heart is just being simply quirky. We're going to ask about her day, and we've learned that she's ambitious. Now, if we actually go and peer into my brain, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm creative. I'm good. And I'm also a quick learner. Uh, and hopefully all these amazing traits will aid Sebastian in his new career. I'm actually really excited to play this sim when I have the opportunity, when I get the chance. Um, because I feel like I haven't really dabbled too much in the writer's, writer's career period. Or what career? Writer career. And I think he's he's the sim to do it. I cannot wait to see how he progresses, how his life unfolds. I wish I had more to tell you. But I really, really really, really don't. Um, this is kind of as it is right now, but I can't wait to share with you guys in the future and show you all um, how Sebastian's life, um, you know, basically unravels. But I didn't want to say unravel because that sounds serious, but you know, unfolds. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for just spending these few moments with me and let me blabble and tell you about my plans and my current household and all that fun stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.